I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm going to be reading just one verse of scripture from Proverbs chapter 6 this morning. We'll talk about it for a little bit and see some other verses that shed a little bit more light on it. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 says, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. And those who are familiar with the scriptures understand what those six things and those seven things are that God says he hates that are an abomination to him. First of all, we understand from the word of God that God hates sin. Anything that's contrary to his character and to his holiness is deplorable to him. And he lists these seven things particularly that are an abomination to him. And that word abomination means it's abhorrent to God. Seven things are an abomination. He just abhors them. And they have to do with the condition of the heart. In fact, the Bible says there at the end of verse 6, seven are an abomination to him. And the Bible, when it speaks of things that are an abomination to God, uh, says kind of a, gives kind of a consistent message in the scriptures, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 32, for example, says the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. Again, in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 20, the Bible says they that are of a froward heart are abomination to the Lord. And the word froward means perverse. And it's the condition of the heart that God sees, of course. And whenever our heart condition is not right, it becomes something that what God would consider to be perverse. And if you think about the condition of the heart that would produce these seven sins that he says he hates, it all goes back to the condition of the heart. And we should examine our own heart before God, first of all, because we want to do what's right in his sight. Secondly, because he knows everything. He knows the true condition of our heart. And we ought to desire to have, above all, a heart that is right with the Lord, one that he will not consider to be perverse or abhorrent to him. A perverse heart is an abomination to God, a froward heart, as the Bible states it. And we want to be right with the Lord, and that begins with our heart condition. Examine your heart today and see if it's right with the Lord, and see if you are willing for him to accomplish his great purposes in your life. See if you're truly surrendered and yielded to him in his holiness. You know, it's not uncommon for people to be in resistance to God on some level, and we should be careful to be honest with ourselves about this, because you know what? You really don't want to be in a position where you're resisting the Lord. That's not a good place to be. We'll only end up broken. We'll be the losers if we persistently and consistently hold a position in our heart that's contrary to God. He's the one who's right, and he is the one who will be victorious ultimately. Have a right heart before God. God bless you today.